It's a bumper harvest for cocoa here in central Uganda. And it is time to break open the ripe pods to collect the much valued cocoa beans. Farmers are looking forward to more earnings as world market prices increase. Cocoa has been a very important crop in my life for the last nine years. I can comfortably fend for my four wives and children. Cocoa is part of my life. Most cocoa farmers are well off. The families are okay. They take their children to school. They are well medicated. You see the infrastructure, the buildings of, 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 of cocoa farmers. Some are poor, although they are in the village, they are now with the solar systems. So really, farmers have realized something good in cocoa. A campaign to popularize cocoa as a cash crop by the Uganda Agriculture Ministry has been going on for the last four years. And the country is now fetching more from the export of the crop. 2013-14, Uganda exported a total of 22,000 and 10 metric tons of raw cocoa beans, which earned around 58 million US dollars. When you compare it to with last year, 2015, a total of 24,008 metric tons were exported. Coco is Uganda's fourth biggest commodity export after coffee, tea, and fish. Fetching more than two US dollars a kilogram on the local market, cocoa farmers are cashing in on their harvest. Most of the cocoa beans produced here are exported in raw form. However, Uganda now says it plans to set up a cocoa processing factory to add value to the beans. <laughs> This means Uganda will start exporting intermediate products like cocoa powder, cocoa butter, and cocoa cake. The ton of cocoa powder goes for around 9,000 US dollars, while a ton of cocoa beans is 3,000. So it is three times higher in price. Even with the good prospects, the cocoa industry in Uganda is still facing a number of challenges. Among them, poor handling, which is affecting the quality of the beans. The middlemen are destroying the quality, the quality of coke, because they could just go here and there buying coke, but they don't ferment it. They don't ferment it. They sell unfermented coke, which is really not wanted in the world market. Some dry on bare soil. Projections for 2016 indicate that Uganda will export close to 25,000 bags of cocoa with expected earnings worth over 74 million US dollars. Michael Balekesisi TV, Mukono, Central Uganda.